Spider 4 here with some more Undertale for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, of course. As in our last session, we began our journey through Snowden, the town of... Well, snow. Pretty straightforward, when you think about it. Not much creativity, the more you think about it. So yeah, we went through that, ran into some funny skeletons and their great humor of epic proportions! Uh, and then we kind of ran off on some of a cliffhanger with the uh, mysterious character, who we got a name of, but I won't say. Either way, if you've not checked out the previous six videos in the description place down below, go check them right now, they're there for you. I apologize that they're each like, what, 15 to 16 minutes? I was not aware that I actually was 20 minutes short of the actual, uh, uh thing. Uh, but anyway, today, we're moving on past, what is this place, Waterfall I think it's called? Here, let, let me go check the, uh, trophy real quick. Um, let's see... Yeah, midpoint, okay, arrive at Waterfall. Uh, just for my, uh, OCD sake, I would have been grateful if they called it THE Waterfall, you know? Because, we're right at Waterfall. I'm pretty sure, well, maybe in the Underground's case, it probably is the only Waterfall, but... You never know. It just seems like something that's kind of cheap. And forced. So, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, we're moving on forward. But before we do, I want to show you a quick little summary of things. Not much to show off, but, uh... we got 500 gold now, or gil, whatever it's called in this game. And I now have two bicycles and two cinnamon buns. For I like to eat my bicycles, I like to eat my bikes, I'd love to eat my cinnamon buns, I'd like to ride my buns. What? Nothing. Anyway, so I got all those, I got a few more in storage back in the gift box, so that'll be helpful when time comes, if it comes. But with that said, let's move on. So last we left off, we were going through another puzzle-like section. And during the grinding, I was actually trying to figure out how I'd make this work, because if you look at this... This pattern is kind of random, and if you got, you got to remember, the only way to actually make the path appear is by having four flowers, or whatever these things are called, to uh, go together in a straight line. All four of them. Yeah, nothing looks like it would actually work, and you can't walk past it, unfortunately. Makes me wonder, what else if I uh, talk to this thing here? Oh. Oh, it's a reset thing, okay. That's pretty handy. What about this? And has made the Bell Blossom King Call Bridge seize back to where they started. Or, alternatively, you can just do a screen left. That also works. I've tested that out multiple times. But how do we do this? How, how, how? And you would think that the easiest thing was just go like, Oh, hey, just throw this one right here. dun da 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 You get all four to line up like so. But obviously, it doesn't work. Because you can't go upward. Yeah. So it looks like... I wonder if there's a way... Like, this, are you saying that reset the entire thing? If it resets all four, okay. Hmm. Maybe... I don't know if this will work. If I do this... And then just have each all hit like so... And it will automatically go as I hit left. Nope, it will not. Hmm. This is gonna be a tricky puzzle. Really tricky indeed. And there's no secret over here, I test that out as well. It does not work. It just floats away, unfortunately. I think, I think, think what would work. I should have looked this up off screen. That might have uh, made things a little easier. If I do this. Yeah, so that happens. Oh! Duh. Wow, I. Didn't even realize. I feel like an idiot. There we go. Pathways unlocked. Da 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 da. 
Oh, getting a cell phone call. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I dialed every number su subsequently until I got yours! <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a faded ribbon! Is that true? Are you wearing a faded ribbon? What will you say? Do we wear a ribbon? I don't think we do. So you are wearing a faded ribbon! I got it! You're yeah, my friend, so I trust you 100%! Have a nice day! Click. Yeah, last I checked, we don't have a ribbon on here. Or unless it's behind here, secretly. But I don't know, okay. Echo flowers. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Aw, how sweet. Wishing room. Go figure. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Maybe. Oh, and fight. With Aaron. Hello there, Mr. Seahorseman. Want another flexing contest? Let's go. Uh, so one thing to score is that this is actually... Well, he has two attacks. One is the R flex from last time, and then there's that. Sometimes, well, most of the time, he'll just go using the same kind the entire time around, but other times, he'll kind of switch things around and kind of mix it up. It's kind of interesting. Oh, at this point, do I need, need to worry? He flex, and flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room! Still don't know how that works, but I'll take it, I guess. Alright, oh, I was examining this thing. Come on, sis, make a wish. I'm good. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Look through the telescope. Let's do so. This is pretty cool. Nope. Check wall. Okay. Uh, check wall. Oh, is it up here? Yep, there you go. That makes all sense. Oh, I think my horoscope is the same as last week's. Mm hmm. Okay, what do we have here now? Ancient rain covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Oof. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Actually, hold on, before I go on that, what, where does this take us? Oh, no, nothing. Nowhere. Never mind. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. This power allows them to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very upsetting to make about this drawing. I wonder why, why that is. Oh, okay, so that's how that works. Hmm. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, here we go again. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! What the heck? Okay, so avoid the spears, avoid the spears, avoid the spears! Book it, 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 book Ay ay ay! That's an evil concept, but ay 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 ay! Ow, I don't know that! Yep. Yeah. Good thing I got the items! Yeah. 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 Run, 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 run! Keep going, keep going, keep going, go, 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 go! Woo! Wah! Into the bushes! Woo! What? What just happened? And then, and then it just go, just walks away. It's like, oh, it's just a monster. Okay, bye. Well, at least I'm alive. Until they come back. Nope, something's happening. Yo, did you see that? Something just touched me. I've never wanted my face ever 
again? Man, are you all lucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I'd rather not see her again. Considering she just threw, like, ten bajillion spears right in my face. It's kind of missing. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. Because why not? It's stuck to the table. Knowing the mouse might want to extract the cheese from the myst mystical crystal, it fills you with termination. Alright. And 200 minutes plus into this game. Oh, hey, Sans. How'd you get here? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 cheap to use a premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Let's go for it. And everything's red. Good thing he didn't charge us for it. Oh, and there's the box. Yeah, and basically here's everything that's inside. The stick, the toy knife, three bicycles, and one cinnamon bun. I'd go further, but I got a feeling this is limited inventory, so I'm holding off. Just be safe. What's this guy? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you get it? Please, sir? No, I am not a star. Well, what the? Oh! Ah! Oh, I get it! I get it now! It's one of those telescope jokes. Where... Uh... What is it? Like, you put some kind of marker around the lens. When you put it in and you pull it out, you just have a ring around your eye. <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Sands, you joke. Huh? You aren't satisfied. Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. You, you charged me for free! How did I get a refund, man? More importantly, how do I heal myself up and get rid of this thing? Or does it disappear once we go into the next room? Let's find out. Okay, yeah, it's gone. Ducky! I can't get the ducky. I want the ducky, man. Give me that ducky! Do I need a, a raft? Is there a raft around here? There must be something here I can use. I want to see my ducky! I want a ducky for my friend and... Oh, hey, it's you. I will okay, okay my store up, but there are still no our customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. It's a frozen tree that warms your hearts. How much is it? I'll go for it, just be nice. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. Got the ice cream. Wait, it's in the box? Oh, okay. If that still counts as inventory. I don't know how I feel about that. Now I'll keep it for the sake of keeping it. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. You jerk. You just defaced great history. How dare you! I'm never buying another ice cream. Maybe, maybe an ice cream, but definitely not an ice cream. What do you do from here? Hmm. Is there something I'm missing? It's not a living telescope. Yeah. Is there, is there something I'm really missing? Or is this just straight up practical joke? Dun 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 Nope, it's just a practical joke. Hmm. But yeah, you can also turn those off for, with, just by clicking the next button. Why? I don't know, but I'll take what I can get. Hmm. There's really nothing I can do here. Is there a further down pathway that I'm missing? Oh, yes there is. I always forget about that. I'm so not used to that. You know, without some kind of marker. You hear a passing conversation. Oh, so, do you... Wait. So, do you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation? Hmm, just one, but... It's kind of stupid. Okay. Oh, 
Um, ba -ba -da 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 -da. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Why not? You've got the ballet shoes. Ballet shoes. Weapon attack seven. These shoes make these you shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Oh, okay, I'll equip them then. Equip. Equip the ballet shoes. Probably won't need it, but you never know. you about clothes? Well, the friend who wants to know, her appeal of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. The fighters would never betray you. He said you were not wearing a faded ribbon. So of course I actually told her you were indeed wearing a faded ribbon. It made me to tell such a bald-faced lie, but since you aren't wearing a faded ribbon, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowie, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend! Clicked. Okay, I see. So because we saw a conversation with Papyrus there... Uh... Like, people, brought, people they probably assumed that, that people would, would try and lie to keep yourselves alive, but... Okay, then. Huh. I didn't even realize that that might be the case. I just said that because I'm an awesome man. Or woman. Whatever gender my character is. Whatever gender Kara is in general. He's supposed to be one of those, uh... What is it? Fire Emblem Avatar things where, yes, they can be male or female, but really they're just the same character with just a few underlying different traits. Although in this case there are no trait differences besides... Watch or nothing. I spare ye. I don't need your AUSP. Oh yeah, gold. I am filthy rich. Anyway, where am I going? You're past the conversation. Don't say that, come on. I promise I won't laugh. Okay, so it's just a continuing on conversation of Echo Flowers. What's this? The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Hmm. Dare I ask? I don't think I ask. Okay, now I'm getting a bit creeped out. What is this? Oh, he's so cute! He, eh, uh, notice you are here. I'm Onion-san! Onion-san, you're here? Oh, you're so cute. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite! Oh. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey! That's okay! It brings moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium! Like all my friends did! Mm -hmm. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I want to, I... That's okay, though! You hear? I'm not gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean! You hear? Hey, there! That's the end of this room! I'll see you around! Have a good time! In Waterfall! Okay, so that's actually pretty comedic. Uh, kind of a take on the whole giant monster octopus thing in any kind of horror movie. But no, this one's actually friendly! Because, you know, all monsters are friendly in this game. Well, save her one or two, but anyway. 